Hey guys, I'm back today with another unboxing. This is a fountain pen that I ordered only yesterday from Pure Pens. Um, it is a Twisby Echo or Eco, and I've looked into fountain pens before and I was kind of obsessed with them when I was little. I always just liked the idea of them. Um, and I think it was maybe a year or two ago I bought these two Lamy Safaris and one of them actually doesn't work and didn't work at all the first day I got it from Amazon which I really should have returned but because I waited so long I went past the returns date on them but this one is a, an extra fine nib and this one is a medium the medium works perfectly but the extra fine just does not work at all there's no ink flow at all to the um, that comes from the nib I like to use this yellow medium nib one every so often but I prefer finer nibs a lot of the pens the regular pens that I use are very small fine nibbed so I thought I would look into fountain pens again and see what there is that I fancied and I really really like the look of the Twisby pens so we've got a leaflet there They've included a, a bag of Haribo sweets as an extra. So this here is the pen. Comes in a nice brown box with the Twisby logo on the front. That's what it says at the side of the box. Take this sleeve off and it comes in this nice sturdy looking plastic case. It's got tape on either side which I didn't realise. I really like the packaging, it's quite simplistic. And this is the pen. So I decided to go for the clear edition. They've got a gorgeous turquoise coming out soon, but I wanted to go for the clear one first. I just really like the look of it. So it's a nice chunky pen. Well, it's relatively chunky. I'll compare it to the Army Safari. It's pretty similar. As you can see there. I'm very, very pleased I decided to go for the clear option. I think it looks really nice, classic and simple. So yeah, that's the pen. Nice new shiny fountain pen. I'm definitely no expert on fountain pens, so I'm going to have to do probably a little bit of research into the pen itself if there's anything I need to know I'm gonna have to learn how to use this I believe it's a a cleaner for the pen and these should be the inks that I bought So on the Pure Pens website at the moment, if you buy a Twisby fountain pen, I'm not sure if it's just Twisby fountain pens or if it's other pens as well, you can buy a Diamine ink for half price in these 30 ml milliliter bottles. So I got the Onyx black because I'm going to use black the most um, and I thought it was a good deal. So this is one the first ink that I picked up. I also picked up this Robert Oster. A fire and ice ink that I've seen a few pictures of on the internet and it's a beautiful beautiful blue and when you actually write with it or swatch it it gets this beautiful deep red kind of mark around the outside this kind of deep red detailing and I also just like the name to be honest <laughs> I'm a Game of Thrones fan and it just reminded me of Game of Thrones as well truth be told so yeah those are the two inks that I got and again the beautiful Twisby Eco pen that I bought that I absolutely love and I can't wait to use I picked a 
fine nib. It's my first fine fountain pen nib, so I'm excited to try that out. I love the I love the detailing on it as well. It says Twisby and it's got the logo. So all in all it looks like a beautiful fountain pen. I'm very excited to start using it. Um, I did a bit of research online before I bought it and a lot of people said it's a fantastic pen. So I'm looking forward to seeing how it works. It's my first, um, is it called piston style pen? Where you dip it in the ink bottle and turn this bit here to actually fill the ink up. As both of these are cartridge fountain pens. Hope you like this little unboxing that I've done guys. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to check out my other videos. Thanks guys.